All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to today's vlog. We are edging closer to the bowl season of the 2011 FBS Division year, and we're having a great year. Now, before I talk about the previews of all the key matchups for the these, these um, BCS bowl games, as well as the other lower bowl games, I need to give you a recap of all the major BCS conferences in college football. For this vlog, I need to talk about the Big Ten Conference and what a great year that we just seen and a great um, inarguable championship between Michigan State and Wisconsin. Wisconsin ended up getting their revenge against Michigan State Michigan State avenging their loss in that Big Ten championship, outplaying them and outbeating them at the end of the year, first winning the first inarguable Big Ten championship to the Wisconsin Badgers. They had a great year led by quarterback Russell Wilson. Now I need to talk a little bit about the Legends and the Leaders Division. For the Legends Division, it was a great close race between Michigan, Michigan State, and Nebraska. All three of these teams were pretty much neck to neck, but Michigan State ended up outbidding Michigan and Nebraska with one win ahead of both of those two teams. Now for the Legends division, many people believe that Wisconsin should have easily made it to that Big Ten championship, especially having Russell Wilson, but they suffered two straight losses and almost not made it to the Big Ten championship. Two straight losses to Michigan State and Ohio State due to last second losses, and those were great matches, one of the biggest matches this season in college football overall. Now, they were pretty much neck to neck to Penn State going towards the end of the year, and Penn State and Wisconsin played against each other in which Wisconsin beat them and got that knock to make it to the Big Ten Championship and outplaying and avenge their loss to Michigan State in that Big Ten Championship matchup. And it was a great year for the Wisconsin Badgers who's making it to the Rose Bowl against the Oregon Ducks come January. And I'm going to talk about that key matchup when that matchup gets closer to that key game. Now, I need to talk about some individual efforts and individual awards and honors I would like to give to teams and players of the Big Ten Conference. Offensive player of the year, I'm going to go with Monty Ball of Wisconsin. Yes, we all know about Russell Wilson, the acquisition from at North Carolina State, but Monty Ball was a true power and leader of that offense because of his running ability. He led the nation with 1,759 yards rushing, 32 touchdowns, along with another six receiving touchdowns on catching the football. He's just two um, touchdowns away of breaking Barry Sanders' single season record for most touchdowns in a season that he broke back in 88. And Barry Sanders had a great year, and he did it in just 11 games compared to 14 for Monty ball but hey records are made to meant to be broken and Monty Ball has the opportunity to do so and he's having a great year I strongly believe he should have won the Doak Walker Award over Trent Richardson but he is still the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year in my opinion he had a great year defensive player of the year I'm gonna go with Devin Still of Penn State a couple of honorable mentions are Whitney Mar Marcellus of, of Illinois he led the nation in both sacks and forced fumbles and Levante David the star linebacker of the Nebraska Black shirt Cornhuskers. He had a great defensive um, game, 122 tackles this season. He had a big year. But Devin Still was the heart and soul of that defense for Penn State. He was actually, which um, Penn State's defense was actually ranked fifth in scoring defense overall. And Devin Still was the key to that defense. 17 tackles for loss this season with four and a half sacks. He was wrecking havoc in that line of scrimmage, and he pretty much was the main reason why Penn State was so effective in stopping the run. And he definitely deserved the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year award. Newcomer of the year, this is an obvious choice, Russell Wilson of Wisconsin. 31 touchdowns with just three interceptions this season. Just threw just under 3,000 yards, and he is second in the nation in passing efficiency. He had a big year, a big acquisition. He was pretty much the free agent of the year in college football coming from NC State. Coach O'Brien of NC State, Wolfpack, decided to go further with uh, Mike Lennon instead of Russell Wilson. So Russell Wilson said, hey, I'm going to go all the way to Wisconsin and start right away. And he earned that start or not, and he was one of the stars of the Big Ten Conference. But I strongly, like I said, Monty Ball did deserve that Offensive Player of the Year award, but Newcomer of the Year was obviously going to Russell Wilson. Coach of the Year, Brady Hulk of Michigan. He had a great season for the Wolverines, 10-2 and two this season. They're actually going to the Sugar Bowl and the BCS Bowl games. I'll talk about that, their matchup against Virginia Tech. Brady Hulk has a tremendous year coaching this team. They were 7-6 and six last season, but this year they ended up pulling off three more victories, 10-2, and two, making it to a BCS Bowl game, and they finally beat Ohio State after suffering so many losses this decade. With Brady Hulk's first season as Michigan State, as Michigan head coach, he ended up having a, such a great year, and this was an obvious choice for me for Big Ten Coach of the Year. The biggest surprise 
for the Big Ten. Obviously, going back to Brady Hope, Michigan, 10 and 2 this season. They had a better offense, um, better um, quarterback in play from um, Denard Robinson as far as passing the football. He wasn't as much of a dual threat as he was last season, but I believe he was a better passer and he took more risks passing the football. And I did like his play, especially with Brady Hope coming in new. Michigan's surprised so many people and they almost made it to the Big Ten championship. Biggest disappointment this season, it's a pretty much of a tie, but I'm not going to give you a tie. At first, I was going to talk about Ohio State, but I believe that the biggest disappointment in the in the uh, on the Big Ten Conference was Illinois, the fight in the line night. They were seven and six last season, and one big shocker for me was the return of Nathan Shieldhouse. He had a great freshman season, just under 2,000 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, and just eight interceptions as a true freshman. But in his sophomore year, he was pretty much having a sophomore slump. Just not another um a little bit more in uh passing yards, 19. 1,971 yards compared to 1,825 yards his freshman season, but he just threw just 12 touchdowns with 7 interceptions, lower his passer rating, but another thing that kind of messed things up for Nathan Sheehouse is that the fact that the fight in the line that had no ability in running the football. They had a they had a great um, receiving quarterback receiving um, combination with Shieldhouse and Jenkins, but the running game was not developed for the fight in the line nights offense, and that was a key factor. Now, the biggest shocker for Illinois is that they started the season 6-0 and and they were highly ranked in the BCS standings but they lost their next 6 games going 6-6 six and six, and they will make it to a, BC, to a bowl game but this was very disappointing after starting the season 6-0 six, and, six and, oh, and they lost the next 6 games including um, big losses to Ohio State and Penn State ranked opponents when they played higher ranked teams, tougher teams, they struggle, and that was the key for the fight in the line. They were not playing like champions, and they were not play, living to expectations that people like myself believed in them this season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is a little bit later on today as I give you the results and recap of the ACC Conference. Thank you for watching this blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.